G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so very good to see you. And just before I get into this video, the images you're seeing here are from the Lauer, Lauer 14mm f4 manual lens 4Z mount. These are images I took just yesterday. Enjoy. Yes, it's true. I have to admit it. I have been hiding it all of this time. I am indeed a fanboy, but it's not what you think. So you better watch and find out. Okay, hands in the air. That's it, you got me, it's true, I admit it. I am a fanboy, but it is not what you think. See, here's the thing. I first took photographs something like 40 years ago, and that was with a twin lens reflex camera that my dad bought, I don't know, in the 50s or something like that. Then the next camera I used was a Ricoh, and then the camera after that was a Pentax, and the camera after that was a Hanamex, and on and on it goes. See, I've been in the photography business so long, it's not about brand. It's just not about brand. What I am a fanboy of is this, this right here making images. I can assure you, with my hand, absolutely, on my heart, 100%, the joy, the thing that has kept me going through the highs and lows of running a small business, through the GFC, through the global pandemic, which is C19. It's not the gear, it's the love of creating images. It's the love of pulling off a shot that I just thought was never possible. What has inspired me as a photographer and what I'm a fan of is pushing the envelope. I have always pushed the envelope. I've always looked at the technology that I have, whether it's a stills camera, and even video cameras. I was pushing them around in the 90s. See, I was really interested in digital photography before digital stills photography was even a thing in the mainstream. See, I've always been a nerd, studied computer science at school the same year that I was doing media studies and the first time I was in a darkroom. This was in 1985. I was a big nerd, so I love computers. I love zeros and ones. I love the efficiencies that zeros and ones give us when we have a workflow. And being in small business, efficiencies are critical. So I'm a nerd. I loved digital. And before there were digital stills cameras, I was using my Sony VX1000 video camera. That's a mini DV video camera. It cost me about seven and a half thousand dollars in New York in 1997. And I was screen grabbing images from that video camera and then using them as stills. And this was the very first time, this was the very first way that I was able to get an image from the analog world into a computer and then start to work with it. And what I mean by that is not going through the film process, which is loading film, exposing film, developing film, and scanning film. As opposed to digital, take the shot, have the shot. It's a very different process. And I have experimented and played with images and the potential of images, and I have used them every which way. Whether you're printing a book, like this, which requires a different set of rules and a different approach because you're working in CMYK versus what you do digitally for online, which is different to what you do for offset printing. Stuff like this. And in every field, I have pushed whatever technology I have at the time to the limit 
uh, in capturing the images and then I push the technology in regards to printing as well. This has been my joy to get hold of a piece of equipment which I spend a long time researching and then using it to its maximum. Another example of this is, say, the Nikon D3, which I've talked about in many videos because I believe it was a game-changing digital camera. It allowed ISOs to go above and beyond wherever they had before in digital, let alone what you could do with film. This was an absolutely game-changing moment. So I am not a fanboy of any particular brand. I have literally used so many different brands. And at the end of the day, you're not a fan. You're loyal. And why are you loyal? Because the brand you've chosen has done something for you. And in the case of my world, it has given me the brand that I have used the most, it has given me the majority of my income, and it's been reliable. And it's never not achieved what I've required. And if I've ever needed to punch outside of the capabilities of the system that I mostly use, then I assess my use case. And I always talk about these three things, use case, budget, and legacy. So if there's something that's not working for me, if there's something I need more of that the current equipment that I have today cannot do, then I assess those three things, use case, budget, and legacy. And what that has meant over the years as my business has grown and I've had more money to be able to spend on equipment, I can tell you, in the beginning, I just had one camera and like two lenses. That was it. And almost for the first 10 years of my career, I had like maybe like when I was actually working and making money from, from photography from like 1990, 1989, 1988 through to the first digital SLR I bought in 2004. So that, so, so we are talking about a 16 year period. I had a Pentax K1000, Pentax P30, Pentax SFXN and the Nikon F5. So I had four cameras in the space of my first 16 years. Also during the 1990s, I got myself a Mamiya RB67 in order to experiment with 120 film. And before I got the RB67, I also purchased a Bronica, a very old, very broken Bronica, which cost me two or $300, but it was the very first time I had my own medium format 120 film camera. And as your business grows, and it did, I was able to afford more gear, which means you can get gear specific to use case. So for example, I purchased Canon cameras, Canon pocket cameras in the mid noughties because I felt they had the best mix of image quality and manual control so I could always have a small digital camera in my pocket. So I bought cameras specific to use case. I was still working with my Nikons for the majority of stuff, but the Canon was for a specific use case. The same thing happened when I bought Sony's, it was for a specific use case, and the same thing happened when I purchased my Hasselblad. It was for ultra high res, ultra high quality. I still only own a few lenses for it, and it's all I need. It's all about use case. Indeed, I am a fanboy, but I am a fanboy of the still image. I love the power of capturing the moment. I love bending the rules of my gear and what is possible as hard and as far as I can with any given piece of equipment. Creating things that I didn't think was possible is one of my utmost joys when photographing. And various manufacturers, various brands have pushed their gear into certain niches, certain things, and you get excited, you get interested, like Sony right now and the A7S III perhaps have the best 4K camera in this particular level of the market. And perhaps right now, well not perhaps, Canon have in this particular level, and what I'm talking about here is, you know, not cine cameras, but stills cameras, which are now becoming video cameras, 
clearly Canon have the only 8K camera on the market. This is exciting, this is pushing the envelope. It's got its pros and its cons. I'm talking about it positively. It doesn't mean I'm gonna buy one. It doesn't mean I'm in love with it. I'm just saying it's so exciting. And there's possibility and there's opportunity. And I've always lived out there at that edge of pushing any piece of equipment that I get my hands on to its limit. I've absolutely enjoyed that. So what am I a fan of? I'm a fan of creation. I'm a fan of exploration. I'm a fan of the right stuff. Can we break the sound barrier with the gear that we have? Can we push that envelope beyond our expectations? That's what brings me joy. And Nikon, Nikon have done it with the Z mount. They are pushing potential and potential that we are only starting to understand. Like I am so excited about the 50mm 1.2. Coming very soon, hope to have one in my hands this side of New Year's Eve, who knows? But again, it's about pushing the envelope. I just love it. So I am a fanboy of creation. I'm a fanboy of living on the limit when it comes to photography. And I'm a fanboy of creating things that I haven't seen before, which is extraordinarily difficult to do. And I'm not saying every shot of mine does it. It certainly does not. I would be happy if that truly happened, say 10 times in my entire career. But in the meantime, we'll keep trying. We'll keep leaping as high as we can towards that basketball ring and hopefully every now and again we get a slam dunk. But this is what I'm a fanboy of. So if you see me getting excited in the comments about people saying I'm a Sony or a Nikon or whatever fanboy, it's just ridiculous to me because I'm here after all these years still running a photographic business as a small business operator because I love creating images. That is it. I love creating images. I'm an absolute fan of that. That's who I am. That's what runs a shiver up and down my spine. And I want everybody out there, for your own sakes, just think about what actually are you most excited about? Are you most excited about the gear? Or are you most excited about the images that you can create? And I think we're probably all a bit different on that front. And there's no question, I love the gear. I love all of it. I love all of it. I love all the gear. There's always some company doing something that's really exciting in a space that you or I have never thought of before. Whoever thought we would see 8K in a 35mm stills camera? 8K video, who would have thought? And it doesn't cost $100,000. This stuff is just exciting. What comes next after that, you know? Let's have it all, I'd love to have it all. It's not possible to have it all. So, use case, budget, legacy, means you need to pick your pathway. And there are the lucky few that can afford to buy whatever camera they want at whatever time they want. I am not one of those lucky few. So you have to make more realistic choices, come down from the ceiling a little bit and choose a pathway. And you choose a pathway, not because you're a fanboy. You choose a pathway because of use case, budget, legacy. That is how we get here. That, that is how it happens. So yes, I'm a fan of all technology, all technology. Don't care what the sticker is on it. But more than that, I'm a fan of creating. I'm a fan of creating things that connect with my fellow human beings and that bring us joy, that bring us a memory. I often talk to my customers and they go, wow, we had this amazing, amazing experience at this place that you've photographed. We love what you've seen and it, it helps us remember our story. That's like, a, that's the dream for me. If I can connect with people in that sort of way and then they treasure this artwork like that, my job is done. I can tell you the joy I feel when I connect with another human being around my artwork is an absolute Everest, Mount Everest compared to talking about camera gear. 
So just keep that in mind. That's where my joy lies. I suspect it's where the majority of people's joy lies. If your artwork connects with a fellow human being, then that is bringing you joy that no piece of equipment will ever give you. I'm a fan. I love photography. And I love all technology. I, I Look, this is just my opinion piece. This is how I feel about the world, but I just wanted to be very clear where I sit on this stuff. This is why I happily talk about whatever brand. One other point I wanted to make is, there are some brands I don't talk about much because I haven't used them at all or I haven't used them much. And I want to talk about confidently things that I've used. So I'm sorry if I don't talk much about Fuji. I'm sorry I've never owned one. I'd love a GFX100, but I can't afford one. I'm sorry I don't talk much about Olympus. I've never owned one. And I probably won't ever own one. So. That's why I talk about specific things. I like to talk about things I've actually used in the real world, tested them out, see if they fit in my world. So tell me, what are your thoughts? Are you a fan of photography? Or are you a fan of something else? All right, everybody. Well, this is just a bit of a passionate one from me. I really, I really want this channel to be, it, to, it, to be very clear what this channel is about. It's about the love of photography and how technology helps us with that and how we apply it to our use case. So good to see you. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please subscribe. Please share this video. I actually think of all my videos, this might be one to get out there into the stars. Be great and, um, and like it. It means a lot to me if you like it. And if you'd like to see over 250 more episodes right now, you can just look down there and uh, click on a few others and see what you like. Anyway, it's time for me to go take some photos.